If you want to experiment with some different colors, then you're going to take one of these wipes, make sure that one comes back out, and you just kind of go across your plate. You're going to get most of it off, and then you can take a dry paper towel and dry it. There will be some left, but it's not going to show up when you print. So now I've done my first layer of prints. I made five of them. And uh, now it's time to do the second uh, part of the reduction print. And what we're going to need to do is take our drawing and put it back on top of our styrofoam. And we're going to be tracing the bigger, the, the, sorry, the smaller details in. So pressing down with our pencil. All right, so now I have finished the drawing part, tracing the rest of the details on. I can take this off, and I've got it carved in. And this is a reduction print, so now we need to cut the rest of it off. because we're only going to print this inside of this owl on top of that green that I printed last time. So now what I have left is just the interior pieces of my owl and I can get rid of all those extra pieces of styrofoam by throwing them in the trash and it will be able to print right on top of the piece that I've already done and it's called a reduction print because we've reduced what we are using as our printing plate. I'm going to print out the uh, second part of a reduction print. Get some brown ink on here. I've cut out the areas around the owl. Try and get ink consistently across that owl. All right, 